Hello friends and welcome back to Edurify YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing well. So as you can see edurify.com our learning platform is already open on my screen and we are here to make a video on the current affairs. So we are going to discuss current affairs of 7th July 2022. So please apni screens ko chhod ke kahin mat jaiyega kyunki aaj ki sari important latest updates hum log cover karne wale hain jo ki aapke examining point se point of view se bahut hi important hone wali hai. सो so, जिसने भी अभी तक हमारे इस चैनल को सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया है प्लीज हमारे इस चैनल को भी सब्सक्राइब कर दीजिए एंड बेल आइकॉन को हिट कर दीजिए सो so दैट हम जो भी न्यूज की अफेयर्स की वीडियोस क्रिएट कर रहे हैं उसका नोटिफिकेशन आप तक पहुंच जाए और आप इजीली एक्सेस कर सकते हैं सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग अ मिनट लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट सो हेयर इज द डेली करंट अफेयर स्टैंडिंग न्यूज ऑफ सेवेंथ जुलाई नेशनल न्यूज The CBSE board has launched a portal called Pariksha Sangam to streamline board examination results, sample papers and other details in one single window. According to the CBSE digital education.com, the newly launched Pariksha Sangam portal will integrate various exam related processes to be conducted by the school's regional offices and the headquarters of the CBSE board. PM Modi unveils 35th statue of freedom fighter Ali Aluri Sitaram Raju the 125th birth anniversary of Aluri Sitaram Raju along with 100 years of Rampa Kranti will be celebrated throughout the year marking 75 years of independence Kerala chief minister Pinarayi Vijayan has inaugurated a cancer diagnostics and research center here which is slated to be the country's first oncology laboratory for comprehensive cancer diagnostic services now comes the international news assessment protocols with nato inked by sweden and finland days have passed since the trilateral agreement between sweden finland and turkey was signed Turkey initially opposed the Nordic countries admission to the organization on the grounds that they were harboring Kurdish insurgents at the last trilateral conference in Madrid. Turkey agreed to drop its objections under specific circumstances. Ambassador Rabah Fatima, permanent representative of Bangladesh to the United Nations, has been appointed as Under Secretary General of the United Nations. Now comes the business and economy news. Reserve Bank of India has decided to increase the existing limits on individual housing loans provided by cooperative banks, taking into account the rise in housing prices since the limitations were last revised and considering customers' needs for larger loans. India's service sector activity grew at its fastest rate in 11 years. The S&P Global Purchasing Managers Index for services increased to 59.2 in June from 58.9 in May, which is the highest level since April 2020, 2011. The results demonstrated a solid rebound in the services sector. Science and Technology News. The Defence Research and Development Organisation successfully carried out the maiden flight of the autonomous flying wing technology demonstrator from the aeronautical test range in Karnataka. Comes the sports news. The book featuring a bonus chapter on how to navigate uncertainty and rapidly changing realities in the wake of the pandemic will hit the stands on July fifteen. It is written by Anand with author journalist Suzanne Ninan. Now comes the miscellaneous news. Veteran Bengali film director Tarun Majumdar passed away at the age of 92. He was known for helming popular Bengali films such as Smriti Tukuthak, Shriman, Prithvi Raj, Kullu Hui, Chander Bari, among others in his lifetime. created a significant impact in uplifting the bengali film industry during the 60s 70s and 80s captain cool ms dhoni turned 41 today one of the most eminent personalities of the indian cricket team ms dhoni sets to turn 41 on 7th july 2022 so these were the current affairs of 7th july i hope you all must have gone through in case you missed any of the news then there is nothing to worry edurify is always with you you can come to our daily current affairs platform and have a quick revision of free current affairs quiz where you will be getting all the quiz 